Hello, it's Jay Stephanie from Levinson and Stephanie here in Chicago. Today, we're going to go through how we use FileVine to track and organize our depositions. Just as a reminder, you'll see we're in our test project. As I said before, I strongly recommend creating a test project like this within FileVine, especially if you are the uh, FileVine administrator for your firm that's going to do all the customizations. It's a great place that you can sort of test run and see how your changes will actually look uh, once you make them. So just another little tip there. But let's get into how we use this depths section. We're just going to go in here. We'll add an item. Obviously, this is a collections type section. So there's going to be a new card for every individual deponent that we're going to have on a project. So it's simple, you just open it up in here, you're gonna create your deponent. Uh, here, we're just gonna say this is real nice, John Doe. Obviously, you put your deposition date in here, if it's been confirmed, yes or no, or while you're waiting to confirm it. This is a nice place. I usually try and create this card uh, for a deponent as soon as we know we're going to have a deposition for this person. Whether or not we've even scheduled it yet, this is just one we know we're going to be doing. Once you scroll down here a little bit, the deponent type, we just sort of fill in a few different options here. These are sort of all of the standard ones we have. Anytime I have a drop down menu, I should say most of the time, I leave a what if or other miscellaneous, something like that. There's always going to be that situation where there's this oddball that does not fit into one of your categories. If we choose defendant, you'll see it will eliminate the do we need to prep the witness. Defendant is the one consistent category where you're not going to be prepping the defendant, but you know we're typically going to prep, oh, always going to prep our client. We often will prep some of these other ones, even if it's just, you know, for a medical provider, even if it's just the like 15, 20 minutes beforehand, just to touch base real quick. Uh, expert obviously is going to depend if it's our expert or their expert, but that's just one little sort of a smart feature. You can dictate what other fields will pull up. Location, back in the olden days, and we're getting back to there a little bit, this is just the location of the actual deposition. This is also a good spot where you can put in the Zoom link. Uh, if it's you know, done via Zoom or a link for some other uh, remote video service. Court reporter, if we don't need to schedule it, no big deal. If we do, it then pulls in. You know, Regardless, you always can put the court reporter in here for contact information, for transcripts and whatnot. But if we are the ones scheduling it, it comes in here to make sure, you know, whomever at your office is doing it, have they scheduled them yet? If it's a yes, then we always have in here follow up, you know, making sure it's confirmed. Similar setup, interpreter, if it's an unknown or a no, no big deal. If it's a yes, it then pulls up who the interpreter or the agency is, what language is needed. And then again, similar to with the court reporter, if they've been scheduled, and then have they been confirmed. Next noun, do we need to prep the witness? Again, this is dictated by the deponent type. But if we, it is someone we do need to prep, and if it's a no, nothing to be done there. If it is a yes, puts in, let's just make sure, when's the prep date? And have they been prepped? Yes or no, or not yet. One thing I wish there was a smarter date field that you could create a calendar event. Unfortunately, you can't, but it's just sort of a nice little redundant, you know, a quick, easy place you can look. You know, if you go into the depths tab, you know, a deposition is coming up at some point or, you know, the deponent, you want to see when that is or when that's scheduled. You can go in here and see when it is and if there's a prep date. We also have in here the debt prep manual. You know, it's something we do. For our clients, you know, if you have something in writing or little tips or tricks or something like that, or a, a video that you've done, 
you know, it's just sort of a reminder, hey, be sure to get that out to the client to review before you spend time sitting down and prepping with them. The DEP, once it's been completed, you know, if you're ordering the transcript, have you received it, yes or no, it also pulls up this deposition report. And I have this, so it's all built in right within the card for this particular deponent. Good information, red flags, you know, any warnings, you know, things we need to watch out. General notes, again, always a great place. Just, you know, random things that might help that you might need to know. If there is follow-up after the deposition, you know, we all have those situations where, you know, opposing counsel asks us to provide something later or, or we ask opposing counsel, hey, please send me that. It creates this new one. What are those follow-up items? You know, notes all about that. And then this little reminder, you know, create a task for each follow-up item. Lastly, down at the bottom, documents section. This is where we keep, although we have a written discovery section or well, written discovery, I like within the deponents tab or card here in the depths section, I like to put for that particular deponent a notice of deposition or the subpoena, you know, the rider. There's a subpoena rider or a notice of deposition rider. Put that in there. Any other documentation regarding that witness. Oftentimes, if it's a uh, deposition that I'm taking, if I have you know, exhibits that I know I'm going to use, especially if it's a remote, this is a nice place to put them because then I can find them right away, have easy access to them, and I can just open up the docs in other tabs within here, you know, within FileVine so I can look at them, have them in front of me. Uh, it's a nice place to keep everything organized. And then also, lastly, if we are ordering that transcript, once it comes in, it's going to get saved here. And if we have a video, that's going to be saved here as well. Again, it's just a nice way to keep everything related to each individual opponent that you have in a case confined to one specific card for that deponent. So you on a case, you can always go into the depths tab and then you'd have a card for, you know, obviously this one we marked as plaintiff. You'd have a card for each person you depose on a case or the other side deposes. Every deposition in that case, each person has his or her, her own card and everything related to it within there. Just another nice way to keep things organized in a way that we use FileVine here at our office to help do that, keep us all on track. I'm always happy to chat about FileVine and different ways uh, that we use it, or that you might use it. Uh, to help manage your firm, handle your cases, keep things organized. So any questions or thoughts or suggestions, feel free to reach out to me. Always happy to talk.